going to show you how to make a really basic reminder app. Um, you'll be able to make a to-do list, and when you get things done, you'll be able to check those things off the to-do list. So I called it Reminder App, and I'm going to create this new project. The first thing I want to do on screen one is break up this space, um, so I have room to put my different elements. I'm going to start off by putting in four different rows. When I drop in the rows, I don't want them to be inside of each other, so I'll drop them like on top or of each other so that um, they're separate rows and they're not, they're not combined. Uh, and you can see that blue line will appear and then when you let go then the, it'll have its own spot for the row. So I, here I have four rows here. Um, I'm going to put a label up at the top that'll be like kinda like my title. Um, I'm going to have a list view in the next row down, and that will be where I store my things to do. And I'm going to put a column in this row right here. And the reason why I'm putting a column into that row is because I want to put in a text input and a button, and I don't want them to be side by side. I don't want them to be on top of each other. So I'll put my text input there, and I'll put my button in there. And that is looking good. I might put one more button down on the bottom row. I might use that later as like navigation to another screen. So this label up here, um, I can call this like lab title. And I want this to say things to do or maybe reminders. reminders up at the top as a title. Um, I don't need all that space of that row so I'm going to highlight that row and I'm just going to make it a little smaller. Uh, the height, I'll try relative size and I'll try making it 20% is too much. Um, that's a little bit better and it'll give me more room for my list. This row down here, I can do the same thing. Again, this one's going to be for navigation, so it doesn't need to be so big. I'll do... All right. And I have my title. I have my list where I'm going to store my things to do. I have my text input and my button. Um, I'm going to rename this... Uh, I want to rename these buttons especially so I don't get confused by which um, button does which. I'll call this um, button enter reminders. I think I'll change the text on the button to maybe enter. And this last button I'll call button navigation one, so button nav one. Cool, I think the design of my app is how I want it, so I'm gonna go into the blocks. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make an, a variable, I'll call it um, reminders, and I'll make it in empty list. The next block I will put in is when um, enter button is pressed or when enter button is clicked. Um, button enter reminders. Oh, I couldn't remember what I called it at first. When button enter reminders is clicked we want to add to this list. So when the button is clicked, we want to insert the information from the um, text input. So text reminders. All right.
and we want to set the list viewer items to our list of variables. So I think app reminders like that. So when the button's clicked, um, the text from the text input will be inserted into app reminders and then we'll set the list viewer to that list of app reminders so that we have a list of things to do um, coming up. So this, this code right here looks good, but if you were to test it out right now, you would notice that when you hit the button to enter the text, um, the text input would still have whatever word written in it, even though it was added to the list. So what we want is once it gets added to the list for that text input to be blank again, um, so you can enter something else. So I go to text reminders, and I want to set their text to nothing so that um, it's blank and we can enter we can enter new items. If I wanted to take something off the list, maybe I just want to click it in list viewer. So the next block I'm going to grab is when list viewer one item click. So when I click an item in the list viewer, I want to remove it from the list. So I'm going to look for that block in list. All right, here you go. So in list, we called this list reminders. So I'm going to go up here, grab this block right here. In list reminders, remove one from the, from the list. And we want to remove the one we clicked on. So I'm going to grab this index and put it right here. And so that will remove it from the list. And then I need to copy this block right here. Because again, after we remove it from the list, we want to set the list viewer to that list so it shows that it's been removed. So this is a way of creating a really simple reminder app. You can make a to-do list on it really easily and check off the items that you don't need. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot. Bye.